Malka Lisova Pisnia, the most expected Ukrainian cartoon that became more popular than the second Avatar in Ukraine in the first weekend. And it is the first Ukrainian cartoon that will be shown in 80 countries of the world. In most of the countries the premiere is announced from April to August. The plot of the cartoon is partially based on the most famous play of Ukrainian writer Lesia Ukrainka called Lisova Pisnia, The Forest Song. It is an extravaganza drama that has uh, fantasy motives and tells about relationships between forest spirit Mavka and a human boy Lukash. The image of Lesa's Mavka and other forest spirits is based on Ukrainian mythology, but has serious differences from it. In mythology, Mavkas are souls of young girls that kill themselves because of unhappy love and decided to stay as forest, meadow or steppe spirits that seduce men and take them to the middle of the forest so they get lost in it. Mavkas look like very pretty girls, but there is a small scary thing about them. They don't have a back, and you can see their dead organs inside of them. But let's speak about mythology other time and get back to the Mavka of Lesia Ukrainka. The play character is a kind and tender spirit, protector of the forest that falls in love with Lukash, a human boy, that plays a beautiful melody on flute. Mavka's love is a high, pure feeling that opposes human love. And in result this human love kills both Mavka and Lukash. And the play has a very sad ending. In fact, the forest zone is kind of a mix between Ukrainian mythological plot and classical traditions of ancient Greek drama. But the cartoon was created not as screen adaptation of the play, but just based on it. The creators of the cartoon company Animahrad took the main heroes and setting and created own story that is perfect for family watching. In the cartoon you will see traditional Ukrainian costumes, accessories, dances, fair. You will observe how Ukrainian houses looked like inside and even the dishes that people used. In one of the scenes there is a cup from Kosiv Theramics. Remember, I have a YouTube video about it. The language of the cartoon is very modern and it will be easy to understand for the Ukrainian language learners. Also, you will hear a few very beautiful songs, so the cartoon could help you with your Ukrainian. The plot, of course, is primarily aimed at children, but as an adult I have received a huge pleasure watching it too. And I really enjoyed the quality of animation and sound. Many famous Ukrainian people, actors and singers took part in a voice-over. For example, the song of Mavka and Lukash was sung by popular Ukrainian singers Artem Pivovarov and Kristina Solovy. The cartoon was in production since 2017 and the creators were very serious about the details. They even went to Volin forests to use their nature as a reference to foreign animation. Also, you could pay attention that in the cartoon Mavka has green hair. Mavka very often had uh, green hair in mythology too, but not always. And for example, Lesia's Mavka had a black hair with green glitter. Ukrainians were really looking forward to Mavka cartoon and when it was released, the cinemas were absolutely full. Uh, yesterday I could barely buy a ticket. The cinema hall was full of parents with kids and young people and everyone was inspired. Kids laughed, adults smiled and honestly I even shed a tear at some point. So if you see Mavka movie posters in your country, I highly recommend you to visit it. Because on one hand you will really enjoy it and on another hand it's a great way to support Ukrainian cinematography. And of course, as your Ukrainian language teacher, I strongly recommend you to watch it in Ukrainian, to practice your listening skills and to get a bit closer to the beautiful Ukrainian culture. And if you are interested in screen adaptation of actually Lesia Ukrainka's play, you can watch a movie by Kyiv Dovzhenko studio called Lisova Pisnia from 1961. Unfortunately, it doesn't have subtitles, but it is high-quality screen adaptation with real text from the play. 
Dear friends, thank you for your interest to Ukrainian language and culture. Please like this video and help me to share it so more people could hear about this magical Ukrainian story.